Now look, I know I'm a little late on this, but we're past Thanksgiving now. We're past Thanksgiving. Josh Allen and company were able to survive the Lions on Thanksgiving. We'll talk about Thanksgiving first. Hope y'all all had a great Thanksgiving, by the way. Three huge touchdowns for him in this game. I mean, when you got Stephon Diggs, you know, making catches that are insane, when you have the whole offense eat, eating, feasting, you know, like Jared Goff out here looking confident, like you, like you know something's up. But then again, the Lions have just been competitive this year. Then the Cowboys basically just said, nah, we're not going to be in third place anymore. And they sweep the Giants. They swept the Giants. Pre pretty damn good defensive effort. We all know Micah Parsons was out here eating, you know, Zeke Pollard. The, the, the two-man tandem was a bit too much for the Giants' defense. You know, and then you, know, you, you think, you think... The Giants would be able to do something against the Cowboys defense, but ultimately, you know, the score is closer than the game indicated. So, you know, yeah, it, it didn't go too well. But then, but then, but then, Justin Jefferson yet again was out here making outstanding catches. And now, you know, the whole, we all remember the whole stigma of Kirk Cousins in prime time. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's no longer a thing. He wins in prime time, I know. Uh, there was a questionable, was it a touchdown, was it a not touchdown in this game. But honestly, at the end of the day, the Vikings, they're 9-2. Um, you know, the Dolphins, I mean, what can you say about the Dolphins that hasn't already been said? You know, I mean, it's the Texans. They, they they played the Texans. So, you know, pure domination there. Um, for the most part, Bengals-Titans was a little weird. You know, you had Derrick Henry fumbling in this game, which is, you know, just unheard of. And the Bengals getting hot late, able to make the plays needed, and Titans made a critical mistake late in this game. And I'm sitting here scratching my head, why? Why did they do this? You know, there's that. And then the Panthers let, you know, let themselves get in position to be in position. Or rather, I should say, they let Sam Darnold start. And he played a absolutely fantabulous game. And the Broncos, of course, you know, under Russell Wilson, did not. They played like shit, you know. They played terribly. Then Mike White, of all guys, you know. Zach Wilson, no Cougars for you. You get on the bench. And then Mike White came in and said, I'm finna sling it. This man was on fire. Over 300 yards passing, three touchdowns. I, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm sitting here just shocked at, at this. And then, you know, you, you couple that with the Falcons basically blowing it on multiple occasions against Washington. I'm sitting here like, you know, Okay, maybe Atlanta's not going to choke this away because they had the opportunity, but then they choked it away. They fumbled near the goal line. Washington was able to get it back, and you think Atlanta would be able to get the ball back, but then they commit a penalty, and they don't get it back. And it's just like, Atlanta, what's wrong with you? And then you think, you think Tom Brady would be able to pull a rabbit you know, out of his hat in overtime, but no, that didn't happen. That did not happen at all. Like the Browns weren't playing too well in this game. You know, the Bucks were doing, you know, just enough to win. But then the swerve came. And the Browns won this game in OT, and then another stunner in which you know, um, weather delayed things in the area and the Ravens just went completely anemic apparently for a good chunk of this game against the Jags and the Jags beat the Ravens like you know it's shocking when Justin Tucker misses a kick of all guys what do you mean Justin Tucker missed a kick nah nah 
That can't be right. Jags then also went for two to win the game, too. Um, Raiders, Seahawks, just no defense in this game at all. It was Derek Carr, Geno Smith, you know, just dueling. And yet Josh Jacobs was the guy at the end of the day. Who runs for 229 yards like this? Who does this? I'm confused. You know, I know I had Max Crosby in the thumbnail for the preview, but like, wait a minute, hold up. What's, what's happening? This can't be real. And it's real. It's real. The Raiders win an OT off of Josh Jacobs just gashing the Seahawks for like an 80 plus short touchdown. You can't make this stuff up. And then the Chargers also said, we are also going to win the game in OT. Or rather, not in OT, in regulation off, a two point, off of a two point attempt. They did the same thing to the Cardinals. Um, 49ers, they shut out the Saints. Nick Vosa was that guy. He was that man in this game. Chiefs, Rams, honestly, I knew, the, I knew this result was coming a mile away. Mahomes and company just they just they just put they just put the beat down on the Rams. Like gone is the day of that 54 48 game from like a couple of years ago on a Monday night. The Rams they are not that team anymore. Definitely not repeating. Definitely not going anywhere in regards to the playoffs. And then the Eagles had to survive against the Packers. You know, Aaron Rodgers gets injured. You know, uh, the Eagles continue to run on the Packers. The Packers are somehow keeping up with the Eagles for some reason. And it, it doesn't make any sense. And then the Steelers of all teams wins in a primetime game. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm already going to be sad when we talk about it, you know, on Thursday. You know, the Colts have another primetime game. But then he, do you want to see Jeff Saturday's Colts? Because I, I, I don't want to see this team in front of I really don't. Why couldn't we have this game flexed out? Like, this is this is the one time. The one time I, I you know. Uh, uh, clock management in this game, man. Clock management. That's all I got to say. Jeff. What was that clock management, man? What was that? can't make it up can't make it up but now we're two-thirds of the way through the NFL season and we have playoff clinching scenarios coming in week 13 in just a few days actually not not for the Bills and the Patriots but we'll talk about you know two teams that can clinch you know on Thursday night for the Bills Patriots so until Thursday night, everybody, I'm going to, you know, we're going to go talk some college football real quick, you know, get, get some thoughts on that because, oh boy, we got some thoughts coming in. And until um, tomorrow when the CFB video will be up, you know, I'll, I'll see you later. Um, sorry that these that these recaps of the NFL keep coming out late. Um Again, work is something else, but it should, you know, slow down a little bit due to the winter breaks and stuff like that. And the fact that the playoffs, you know, are, you know, like we're going to have Sunday recaps for the playoffs and stuff like that. So, you know, not Monday. So that works out a whole lot better than, you know, me scrambling on a Tuesday night. So, adios, everybody.